Hey guys, let us learn about different types of tests done for blood stain and seminal stain in forensic medicine. So I have brought all the names of the test in this single sheet. You can have the screenshot of this single sheet at the end of the video. Now let's get started. Firstly, let us discuss about blood stains. In the question, they'll definitely mention you the specimen that you are testing for if it is blood or semen. Coming to the screening test that is presumptive test for blood stain, the most sensitive one is luminal spray which gives blue color to the blood sample. And the rest all screening tests are benzidine test which is all otherwise called as Alder's test which gives blue color to the blood, phenophthalene test which gives pink color to the blood which is otherwise called as casil Meyers test and then orthotaurodine test which gives blue green color and tetramethyl benzidine test which is otherwise called as Combers test and guacam test. You just need to go through these names once but the important ones that you need to remember are benzidine test which is uh, Alder's test and phenophthalene test which gives pink color and it is otherwise called as casein Mayer test and the most sensitive one is uh, luminal spray. Coming to the confirmatory tests guys, when you discuss about confirmatory tests, there are three things you need to remember. One is most reliable and most specific one which is spectroscopy and the other two starts with T. So coming to Teekman's test, Teekman the name itself has Teek, so the reagent, the reagent that we use is acetic acid. And the component of the blood that you are testing is hemin. So man for min and teak for teak that is acetic acid. That gives you rhombic shaped crystals which are brown in color. So RO in brown and RO in rhombic. So brown colored rhombic shaped crystals are seen in the Teekman's test when you use the reagent acetic acid. And the component tested here is hemin component of the blood. This completes the Teekman's test. Now coming to Takayama's test. The component that you are testing for is hemochromogen and the reagent used is glucose plus pyridine. You get pink feathery crystals of hemochromogen in Takayama's test. This completes the blood stains guys, blood, uh, test for blood stain. So screening, confirmatory and the names that you have to remember like benzidine, alders and blue, phenophthalene is for pink, casein Mayer. Now let us discuss about the seminal stains. When we discuss about seminal stains, screening is by UV light, whereas most reliable or confirmatory is UV light under UV light plus one intact sperm is most reliable or confirmatory for semen. And here one more thing you need to remember guys, second most confirmatory or second best test is for LDH levels. LDH levels is the second most best or the second most confirmatory test. Coming to the Florence test. So Florence test is for choline. And here also you get brown colored rhombic shaped crystals. This choline is for vesicle, cull and coal. So seminal vesicles secretions have choline in that and that choline is tested in Florence test. So that is the concept. Seminal vesicle, cull is choline and you use iodine for as the reagent. So you get choline iodide crystals which are brown in color and rhombic shape. You don't need to confuse between this brown rhombic and this brown rhombic because in question you will definitely have either blood stain or the seminal stain. So there you can rule out either of them. Coming to the barbarios uh, test in barbarios test you test for spermin which is a component of prostatic gland and you use picric acid so spermin picrate crystals so picrate remember it like pricking pain or pricking sensation so you prick with needles right so yellow colored needles uh, are seen in uh, spermin picrate test that is barbarios test and there is another thing that you need to remember in aspermia when there are no sperms in the semen then you use prostate specific antigen plus acid phosphatase test to confirm if it is the seminal stain or not and one more thing here for the old semen you use creatine phosphate kinase test so this concludes the uh, this uh, topic guys so it's a simple one you just need to mug up these names so i have got few mnemonics i hope that helps you just remember uh, all the names and the reagents used and the component of the blood or component of the semen for which it is done. Here are the three images guys, microscopic images. So the first image is of the blood stain. 
the second one is of the seminal stain and the third one is of the blood stain actually the third one can be that rhombic shaped crystals you can see in blood stain as well as seminal stain in two different tests as i have already discussed so the first one blood stain so that is takayama and the seminal one which is yellow needle shaped is barberios and the blood stain if mentioned then it is rhombic brown that is stegman if it is mentioned as seminal stain then the answer will be florence test right colin rhombic so these are the images and the names that you need to remember thank you please do like share subscribe to the channel bye bye